Hey, my wonderful spirit people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go ahead and reach back out to Jasmine Robinson, an old friend of mine from a town I used to live in. She went missing two years ago, and yesterday, or a couple days ago, it was her birthday, she reached out to me in spirit and asked me to try to locate her, help with the case, give a little closure to her family in some way by showing her all of this once I'm done and um just yeah doing whatever i can i'm kind of uh sad about this one so i'm not gonna talk too much i'm gonna just go ahead and get started with the session divine is jasmine robinson here with me today bring in the forward facing first please Open for yes, across for no. Jasmine Robinson here with me. Yes, thank you. All right, we got that answer. So let's go ahead and get started with the session here. Jasmine, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the box here. I don't know if you've ever used a spirit box like this before, but this is called the Birch Box. I have the audio source here. This is just audio to help you speak. I have the Hope Spirit Box app. For those of you guys who are wondering, and throughout the session, I'm going to be turning on and off the audio. Jasmine, is there anything you'd like to say before we go ahead and get started? Jasmine, if you can, can you say your first or last name, please? I think I heard it, Jasmine. Thank you so, so much. You're doing wonderful. That's awesome. All right, Jasmine. We're going to go ahead and get started with the more serious questions. I just wanted to kind of warm up and let you get a, you know, feel for the box. Are you comfortable with it now? Are you ready to answer some of these questions? Awesome. Okay. Jasmine, the night you disappeared, you told your grandmother you were going to bed. What happened after that? Okay, I heard something about waking me up. So, did he, he woke you up in some way? And let's just start there before I go on with anything else. Did he tell you, did he wake you up? Did somebody wake you up? Are you with your baby? You have her? Okay, good. In the last session, actually, um, she showed herself to me walking in. She did this time, too. She was walking through the door and she was actually holding her baby. And I confirmed that with the dowsing rods. So it's awesome that she actually confirmed it again here. Jasmine, where's your body? Can you tell us where your body is, please? Did you say some shallow block or something? What did you say? Can you give us a better description if possible? 
So you're saying you're buried underground, correct? Just to be clear about it? Yes. Wow. Thank you so, so much, Jasmine. You're doing really, really good. Really good. Okay, so where are you buried underground? Like what city? Are you buried underground? What's yeah, what's it called? She's showing me the archer sign. You know, when you enter the city of that of that little town and she's like pointing to the sign, to the archer sign. Am I seeing this correctly? You're right. Wow. Thank you. Okay. So, real quick, I just want to confirm everything with the dowsing rods. Jasmine, so you are in fact buried, correct? Open for yes, cross for no. Thank you. All right. Let me confirm this as well. You are, in fact, buried in Archer, Florida. Correct? Open for yes, cross for no. Yes, and that was a big open. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to try to make sure that your friends and family get this. I'm not sure how they're going to receive it, but um, I'm trying to help you overall. I gain nothing from this. Literally, quite literally, guys, I gain nothing from this. I'm doing this to help. Thank you again, Jasmine. Is there anything you would like to say to your friends and family real quick? Jasmine, what happened, and I don't know the full story, but from what I could see, what happened isn't your fault. Let's go ahead and walk through the night that you disappeared, okay? So you told your grandmother that you were going to bed. You went in your room. What happens next? Okay, and then what happens? Break the law. Break the law? Or break the lock? You didn't break the lock. I think it was break the law, maybe. Okay, what else can you tell us about that? Stab me. Stab me. And she's showing me too. And when he did stab her, it was a wooded area. So I think he, he took her somewhere, obviously. And then, you know, obviously had her get out. And I just see him just, just straight up. You know, like in front of her, he grabbed her shoulder, just and in the last session, she, I don't, oh, actually last night she was channeling me, sorry, not in the last session, and she said something about baby dead, and I was like, what, you know, baby dead, well, obviously the baby's, you know, what, gonna die if, if you die, but now it makes sense because what she was saying is the baby, like, died first, she got, the baby got stabbed directly you know what i mean he didn't want to have this baby i don't think am i correct am i did i let me just start with this 
I'm gonna confirm with the thousand guys. Sorry guys, I get scattered. My ADHD and this stuff go like crazy together. It's <laughs> did he not want to have this baby? Can you open if he did not want to have this baby? Cross if he did. Okay, yeah, he didn't want to have this baby. Okay, so did I see that correctly? When I said he stabbed you in the stomach and killed you that way. Yes. Open is yes, just so you guys know. Make me. Okay, that answers that. Yeah, he made her. He forced her to go. And uh, this was straight up premeditated. And he got away with it. Straight up. The entire family knows or, you know, has a good idea of who they think is responsible for her disappearance. And it just so happens to be the person that I get. And guys, you already know, I don't go in with biases. I have nothing to gain by pointing my finger at anybody. Trust me, literally nothing. The police don't, don't take me serious um, or any of this work serious that anybody does, no matter how big you are. But yeah, in other words, guys, I have nothing going on to make me want to say this other than the truth. If she's saying this right now, then it's the truth. Straight up. Was he alone when he did all of this? Did he do this by himself? I mean. All right, Jasmine. I want to thank you so much for coming through. We're going to do at least one more session to kind of wrap this all up, try to wrap up our conclusions on what happened exactly. I want to piece everything together based off of what I got on this in this session and maybe try to help you to find the light if possible once we can get this you know, closure for you because I know once your family, at the very least, once your family knows, it'll help you a lot to get closure. Am I correct? Yep. Let me just confirm this too. After all of this is, is wrapped up and, you know, your family finds out about the session and, you know, given the information we got, do you want me to do a session to help you find the light? So you can move on. Find Jesus, find God. Sinner? We're all sinners, you know? That doesn't mean you can't find God. So throughout this process, what I want you to do as well is just think about that. You know, if you want to do that, if you do, I'm here for you. I'm willing to help you to find the light because I believe that's why God led you to me ultimately was to not only help you to get closure, help your family to get closure and possibly help to find your body if possible, but also to help you on the other side. Sorry. No need to apologize. Much love and light, Jasmine. Thank you so much for coming through. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end off this session right there. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it. Hit that subscribe button. I love you all so, so much, especially if you're still here at this part of the video. That means you're kind of a real OG. You know, I appreciate you. I love you. So <laughs> let me know in the comments if you did make it to this point. And, um, yeah, so I can show you some love, let you know, I appreciate you. So I love you guys. I'll see you all next time. Sarah loves you. God loves you. Bye.